Marvel has so many great and iconic superheroes, whether that be Iron Man, Hulk, Captain America, Wolverine, or even Spider-Man, but there is one superhero who is on another level as being the best written superhero and just being one of the coolest superheroes in all of Marvel that has ever been put on screen, and his name is Daredevil. Daredevil is just undoubtedly one of Marvel's best written characters with this complexity of being a Christian man who calls himself Daredevil, and also being one of Marvel's coolest superheroes by being one of the best superheroes when it comes to straight hand-to-hand -hand combat, which ends up giving us some of the best fight scenes to ever Ever be put on screen not in just superhero media but in all media in general like the iconic daredevil hallway fight scene which is just so amazing and so well done where he took down a hallway full of criminals with straight hands while he had multiple broken bones broken ribs broken leg and probably also having like a third degree concussion he was literally on one hp and was still able to take down eight thugs and what makes this fight scene so great is that it's done in all in one shot meaning no cuts like a regular show or movie would have which makes this fight scene feel so real not to mention once he defeats these thugs he takes off his mask to save the kidnapped kid to show that he is just human just like he is and not to be afraid because Daredevil at one point in his life was that scared little kid. He is literally the embodiment of what a hero should be. He will have 18 different broken bones but will still be considerate of other people's emotions even if it's just a child's emotions. And that is why he is my goat and that's why he is one of the greatest superheroes of all time. Another amazing action scene with Daredevil is when he's brought into the MCU and faces against She-Hulk and we finally get to see an acrobatic Daredevil done right on screen. Like I love the grittiest and realness of Netflix's Daredevil was fight scenes, but seeing a comic actor Daredevil where he's all acrobatic, where he's doing flips to catch up to a car and weaving hits from She-Hulk like he has Ultra Instinct is just so amazing to see. Like I can't wait to see a more acrobatic Daredevil in the new Daredevil Born Again show when that show eventually comes out. And in that same She-Hulk episode, Daredevil pulls the baddie known as She-Hulk like there's no other superhero with more aura than Daredevil. And speaking of aura, I think people forgot how iconic Daredevil is. He used to be one of Marvel's biggest heroes, that is why he got a movie before other iconic superheroes like a Wolverine, like an Iron Man, and like a Captain America. Daredevil was so iconic in fact that he even inspired the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yes, the Ninja Turtles, who are one of the biggest brands in the world. And in case you don't know how Daredevil origin goes, it's by having chemicals spill into his eyes making him go blind. But those same chemicals that blinded Daredevil spilled into the sewers and is what made the Ninja Turtles. And that is not the only reference the Ninja Turtles have to Daredevil. The main villain group of the Ninja Turtles, the Foot Clan, which is supposed to be a reference to Daredevil was the main villain group, which is called The Hand. So you can obviously see the references and the homages to Daredevil in the Ninja Ninja Turtles group, which just shows you the crazy influence Daredevil has on other media. And speaking about Daredevil's backstory, Daredevil's backstory is one of his best aspects of him as a character. Daredevil's dad ended up getting killed, which made him become an orphan who grew up in a church, and him growing up in a church makes his character so complex. By making Daredevil want to be true to his faith, but won't stand on the sidelines and let people get hurt when he can stop them. Which makes for such great moments, like right before he beats the brakes off of a random criminal, he goes to a church to confess to a priest for what he's about to do. She used to say, be careful of the Murdoch boy. Is they got the devil in. And the other guy, he'd, he'd see that look and he'd, he'd try and get away from him. My dad, he'd catch him and, and tra trap him in the corner. Let the devil out. And I didn't understand it. You know, what he was feeling deep inside, I, I didn't understand it. Not back then. But you understand it now? I'm not seeking penance for what I've done, Father. And I'm asking forgiveness for what I'm about to do. That's not how this works. What exactly are you going to do? Another iconic moment in the Daredevil show is when Daredevil finally defeats Kingpin at the end of the series, which is one of the most satisfying moments in the series, where the Kingpin ends up getting out of prison with his power and influence and has been puppeteering every character throughout the series, characters like Bullseye and the whole police force. And Daredevil at this point has seen Kingpin has gone too far and has made the difficult decision is that if I see Kingpin, I'm going to have to break my no killing rule because Kingpin is just on another level. Because even if Daredevil sends him back to prison, he's such a big threat where even if he gets back to prison, he'll see him his way out with his money or or his influence, whether it's paying off more of the police force or eventually getting out and becoming mayor of the city like how he does in the comics. So when Daredevil finally gets his hands on Kingpin, he beats him half to death but doesn't kill him because he knows he would never come back from this moment if he goes through with killing the Kingpin. Especially since the season right before this season, Daredevil and Punisher had this amazing moment where they talk about why they shouldn't kill criminals because it doesn't give them a chance to redeem themselves. I think that this world, it needs men that are willing to make the hard call. That's what I think. I think you and me are the same. Right? same. You know it. Only I do the one thing that you can't. You hit them and they get back up. I hit them and they stay down. It's permanent. I make sure that they don't make it out on the street again. I take pride in that. Let me ask you this. What's that? What about hope? The people you murdered deserve another chance. What, to kill again, rape again? Is that no, what you Frank, want? No, Frank, to try again, Frank. To try. 
And if you don't get that, there's something broken in you you can't fix. But Daredevil is at a crossroads with his no killing rule where he knows Kingpin won't redeem himself. So when he's faced with finishing Kingpin once and for all, he doesn't go through with it because he knows not only will it end Kingpin's life, but it will also kill the superhero known as Daredevil, which ends up playing out so amazing on screen and ends up giving us this amazing speech. Kill me! No! God knows I want you, but you don't get to destroy who I am. You will go back to prison and you will live the rest of your miserable life in a cage, knowing you'll never have, Vanessa, that this city rejected you. It beat you. I beat you. And speaking of Daredevil, he has so many great one-liners that make him feel like a one-liner machine. Like obviously the moments I mentioned before, like the moment during his confession, but there's also another amazing moment in season three of Daredevil where he talks about how he used to hear people's prayers with his super hearing, but now he has a new perspective on why he was able to hear their prayers. I used to listen to people's prayers in here and out on the street. And people asking for God's help or justice or vengeance sometimes i thought that god let me hear the prayers so that i could answer well, that's what i did that's what i was trying to do was trying to help people but i was wrong so now you believe your calling to do what you do was a mistake no father uh, my delusion was thinking god had anything to do with it no, I'm, I'm not as capable as i was but i don't get to choose who i am i'm daredevil not even god can stop that now Speaking of how iconic Daredevil is, I want to bring up his costume, which is also so iconic with how simple it is with his horns and the DD on his chest to represent his name. Obviously, we haven't seen a good comic accurate design on screen. However, I like the Netflix Daredevil design with the armor plating and the darker look, which is a good look for what they're trying to go for with a more grittier look, just like how the Batman did in The Dark Knight. But the comic book look will just always look so much better where they blend it pretty well with a realistic costume design for Daredevil and having the more original comic design. And the new Daredevil costume that we have seen from Daredevil Born Again from behind the scenes looks so much better by streamlining the suits and making it more red to not feel so dark and dull. And I do also like the She-Hulk Daredevil suit as a one-off suit for Daredevil. But the best suit Daredevil has ever put on screen is his black suit. When he puts on his black suit, you just know he's about to be on straight demon timing, which is just such a cool Daredevil design and has so many iconic moments in the suit, like defeating Kingpin to his iconic hallway fight scene and to fighting Bullseye in the suit. But besides these great moments with this suit, it's just how much aura the suit has. Just imagine you're a criminal and this guy shows up with his eyes covered no armor but just ropes tied to his fist like this is just a sight you don't want to see because you know he's just gonna be on straight demon time not to mention he's a straight brawler he's only throwing hands so you know you're not leaving without a few broken bones and you'll also be leaving with your morale shattered because he never really stood a chance against daredevil but daredevil is just one of the best superheroes in all of marvel history and is one of the best combatants in all of marvel history like the time iron fist stepped up to daredevil in the netflix's defenders and daredevil just completely washed iron fist who's supposed to be one of the best fighters of all time and in all of marvel history but like i said daredevil was just one of the best superheroes in all of marvel history on every single level when it comes to his writing when it comes to his fight scenes that just gets me hyped for when daredevil born again comes out and hopefully we will get to see him interact with other big superheroes like how he does in the comics interacting with characters like a spider-man because that would be so cool to see on screen with them both in their super suits just taking down villains like a kingpin but let me know down in the comments what superhero you would want daredevil to team up with in the mcu because there's endless possibilities and also let me know what is your favorite daredevil moment down in the comments below and i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe because 99 percent of the people who watch me aren't subscribed also let me know down in the comments what character would you want me to break down next down in the comments down below hope you guys enjoyed this video hope to see you guys next time later hater peace if that's not